My name is Fumio Demura. I born uh, Honmoku, Yokohama, Japan, 1940. And then right after that, I start World War II till I was uh, 80 years old. I have uh, uh, two sisters, four brothers. My, I'm oldest one, and I have a next one called Teruo, and then uh, Yukio, and uh, Mitsue, and Nobuo, and the last one, Kinue. Kinue is the uh, uh, youngest one. He come to the United States, he's living with me right now. And all other my brothers, sisters, they're still fine in the Japan. And uh, I have my house was a real uh, called Sanken and the real nice park. But uh, my father find out uh, B twenty nine airplane come to the Yokohama area, so he better move. So I moved to top of the mountain house. My father bought it. Then uh, B-29 airplane was so close to my roof, in the house roof, and uh, I had to be right, be all dark, and there's one spot only. So then, uh, bomb starting all over. So I had to go to uh, go, uh, underground shelter. I had to go in. Then anyway, uh, 19, almost 50, uh, war is the end. Then after that, we got the depression come up. And uh, my father smoked, but you can buy one pack a person. So a long line. So I line up in the early morning, I go to one pack I buy, they had to run again to the last end, line them up again to get another one. That's why I did it. Then after that, uh, we have real food shortage. So my uh, brother and uh, me, we go to the, my mother's countryside and take the, my sister's kimono and my mother's kimono, change the rice. Then coming back, and the uh, policeman waiting for. But I was a kid, so nobody check him up. I put the lights on my back, the shoulder. I hold my brother, and I just go through. Anyway, that kind of way we start doing that. And then uh, I was a uh, junior high school, and high school same place in the middle of the countryside, rice field, they have a building. And then uh, I go to buy bicycle, maybe hour and a half to two hours every day, back and forth, back and forth. And then sometimes I can get uh, money, so I buy a uh, train ticket. Then I go to buy train. And I was a pretty, uh, pretty, pretty bad boy. I was uh, uh, walking the farm run, and I catch the small size snake. So I pick him up, I put him in my pocket, and then I take the train, and then inside the train I just release. People screaming. I would enjoy that. So then uh, after that, uh, uh, oh, then after that, uh, I would uh, uh, play something the game, but that time we don't have any, anything after war. So they, my neighbors have a little teach the uh, candle. So I make the uh, wood cut and make the book and uh, uh, wood saw, and then uh, I went to the join the group. But anyway, uh, after that, uh, he had to move, so he introduced me. Uh, Sakalami's dojo. That time was a kendo, 
So I started to do kendo. And after the kendo over, they have a karate class. And uh, I never see that before. So I was watching them and uh, very interesting. And then I tried to join the group, but I was too young. So I cannot join. But uh, his wife said, are you interested in karate? Yes. Okay, I talked to my husband. So she talking to, and I said, uh, he said to me, okay. So I just joined. When I was uh, uh, teaching uh, my sensei's dojo, uh, Mr. Shinken Taira, he moved in. So every day I got three o'clock, I started with him, and then probably midnight I go home. Anyway, uh, then somehow he got uh, trouble with my sensei, so he moved to uh, Mr. Inoue's dojo. And then, or that before that, he made uh, uh, three books. Uh, something happened in the book. I have no. I was too young, so I had no idea. But anyway, uh, somehow uh, moved to uh, Mr. Inoue's do dojo, and then he left later. He go back home. So anyway. I had to go to 1963, I think. I had to go uh, take the money to Mr. Tyra's house. So I went to Okinawa. And I meet uh, uh, Chibana Choshin. Uh, I stayed at Mr. Uh, Hira Yushoku Sensei's house. Then he introduced me to uh, Nagamine Choshin. Uh, uh, few other people. It's a very interesting. Unfortunately, I don't have any uh, picture with uh, Mr. Uh, Chibana Sensei, but I was watching uh, his kata. Then uh, that time, I take one of my student. We don't have any money, so we had to take to train to Kagoshima, from Kagoshima, and the third class shipping was to the bottom of the boat, and I was sick. But anyway, and then two days later, I got the Okinawa Naha uh, boat. I was a kendo training. Uh, then uh, my uh, sensei was Mr. Sakagami and uh, Taizabro Nakamura sensei. And then, uh, oh, he was really scary. He had uh, two sword of hand and really strong. You know, on the hit one time, my neck got that much shrink. Boom! That's it. So anyway, uh, then after that, little while, uh, somehow he started battle and then uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Minoru Nishiki, he bring over to my dojo. So he came over. Then uh, he asked me, uh, I'd like to get more batodo to award to make it bigger. So I said, I cannot promise, but I try to do my best to uh, uh, try to more people to teach. That's why today I am there now. So anyway, so then 1961, I won the All Japan Championships. First year, the All Chodokan, Gojuri, Wadoryu, uh, uh, Storyu, all together combined. And then I had to fight with a, uh, one Shodokan guy. Today, he's a real big name. And then, and uh, I won the, all Japan Championships. Then after that, I was the one uh, martial art demonstration with my sensei. And then uh, I meet, uh, I know the, one of my friends called Dan Drager. He's an American guy, but he's an all of the uh, English book he translates to people. Anyway, 
He introduced me Dan Ivan. Dan Ivan, uh, he's a uh, uh, he's a uh, born Hungary, and then uh, he come to the Ohio with the father, and then uh, he come to California. Anyway, uh, he's the only one guy I can trust hundred percent. He's a really honest guy, and he don't care himself. He always care other people. That's the thing. For example, we do something, uh, put together, I make hundred dollars, and I give you fifty back. He said, "No, you take twenty more." That's kind of what he does. So he is a one of the greatest guy. I'm lucky I got him to come to the United States. So anyway. Then after that, uh, I got uh, uh, come to the United States. The first time I stopped, at uh, uh, that time, no straight flight. So we had to go to Hawaii, Hawaii to uh, Los Angeles. Then I stopped at Hawaii, and I was so shocked because women driving a big truck, Japan women never drive the car. But anyway, I was so shocked. But anyway, uh, that is the America. When I came over here, first things, two things I never see before: a uh, bed too high. In Japan the floor floor lay down. But anyway, bed uh, real high, so it's very difficult to sleep with it. I fell down so many times, so I cut the leg off. Made it smaller. Then uh, next one is the toilet. I never see a toilet before. So I don't know how to sit down. So I was the uh, reverse way sit down and the water tank at the little book. So I just read the book every day. It's a. Uh, I told my my, my mother, uh, American toilet real comfortable. I can read, write, letter, and just relax and then just do it. So anyway, then the one day I was accidentally, I opened the door and somebody was sitting down with the opposite size. That's why I found the spot to be sitting down wrong size. That's the two mistake I did. It. And then, and after that, uh, I had the, uh, Japanese village, uh, one of my students uh, uh, is a manager of the Japanese village. So uh, he asked me to do demonstration. So uh, we did a demonstration, but the people had no reaction. So then what's the wrong with this? Then we find uh, uh, no reaction. Somebody punches, stop right here. So that's no good. So then when you start going, you say, boom, look like you hit it. Then people start to more react. Then after that, it's a top show in a, a Japanese village, and, and they gave me on stage, martial art stage. And we did a samurai show and a karate show. Then 1974, uh, first oil show come up, uh, Japanese village was a bankruptcy. And after that, I was uh, uh, two days later, Rasberth Hilton, and uh, he invited me to go to audition for his show. So then I went over there, and uh, right away I got uh, hired. So then I did about two and a half to three years, 12 shows a day. Also, I have uh, my friend called. Uh, Great John L. He was a professional wrestler. Used to be the boxer, but he changed the professional wrestler. And he's one to bring to film to film business. I'm in. Without him, I never been there. Anyway, uh, he have a maybe uh, old cougar in his house. 
So once in a while, he go to the publisher and then he don't go inside the door. He just release the cougar chained up, they put him inside. The people screaming and the people jump up on the, on the desk and he was laughing and I was laughing too. And that's kind of the way John L. did it. And he's a great guy and I, I respect him a lot. But unfortunately, he was a, a back problem and he passed away. Then after that, I come back and uh, I was uh, uh, nothing to do. So 1977, uh, first I had the movie business and then uh, that's called the Island of Dr. Moro. And the reason I got that part of it, because I had to fight with the tiger, lion, and the bear. They were looking for strong men. So anyway, I got the job. I went to Santa Croix for two months. And I had to fight with the two lion, and the bear, and the tiger. And after that, come back, and I don't get any more job. I went to every week audition, but uh, I can't get a job because my uh, English is not so good. So anyway, then after that, uh, Pat Johnson, he called me, you want to come over? So I went over there. And then uh, Jeffrey Mada, he's an understand coordinator guy. He uh, asked me, are you interested in the stand? Yeah. So he invited me to uh, Karate Kid. And that Mr. Mie uh, Morita cannot do karate, so I want to stand double. So I did it for 27 years. So like, he's like more my brother. Everything from A to Z, I did it. And then uh, come back, I did a, uh, everything Pat Morita do uh, work. I did an O'Hara series and uh, bring back a life and rising sun. So anyway, uh, then after that, uh, I over and I got the first heart attack during the shooting film. So then uh, after that, uh, I stopped. Uh, acting and then uh, retired uh, maybe seven years ago and then uh, uh, I got uh, uh, called hematoma and the brain problems and my right arm right legs doesn't work too good I even I cannot hold the chopsticks so anyway I practiced thousands thousands made a uh, origami bird to my hand. So now I can use more hand right now. So anyway, so then after that, uh, uh, I got the kidney problems. So right now I have kidney problems and I have 10 and a half an hour. I do a diarist every day, seven days a week. But still I'm right. So I think that's a good time. I enjoy the life every day. Well, uh, people ask me why I had to go so much traveling. But if I invite instructor, only one person I know. But if I go to the dojo, I can see all people and they, I know what he teach. So then I had to give a, a instruction. Okay, now you should not do this way, you should do this way, that way. So that's the reason I'm going to more. I, if I don't go, that's much easier for me, but that's not my way of work. I had to go to see the people so that I know what the instructor teach and then what instructor uh, student react. That's kind of the way I look at it.
and the Santa Ana Dojo is like a family. And if people need help, we gotta help everybody, each other. Without money, without anything. That's why I want to teach. Right now, over 60 years of teaching in this country. Anyway, uh, we still have a people. For example, David Hines, he was six years old. He started with me. And then he still do it every day. So we have a few people that way. A uh, little while ago, uh, Joe Luce, uh we went to dinner. He asked the David Jones, how long will you stay with Sensei? Oh, I don't know, maybe over 40 or 50 years. And he said, what? 50 years? Because he don't have that kind of student. Come and go, come and go. So, but I have, I told him, Joe, uh, look, it's not just him. We have a dozen of people over 50 years training. So, my oldest one is Dave Hines, and also Kevin Suzuki. He was like a four or five years old. He started with me. He's still training. Well, uh, origami is uh, my uh, hand condition. So that's why uh, I do it. But uh, my hobby is uh, uh, fishing and soil correction. I go to maybe once, two a month, I go to the ocean fish. And then uh, uh, I go to Pennsylvania, I go to the rainbow trout fishing. And every state I go to, I go to fishing. I enjoy the fishing. And uh, also uh, I collect all the Japanese antique, mostly Japanese soul. So uh, I have about 200 soul. Anyway, uh, I started uh, a long time ago, one guy bring over uh, Japanese uh, army military soul. And then he said, I give you this, give me one month's training. And I opened him up and he was a scratch all over. I said, wait a minute, this is the people's life meaning. So I don't want to do that. So I put that to a newspaper. If you have a military soul, I buy. So they turn to start to come up. People bring over. So I just pour every one of it. Last word I want to say called Sosen Sui Han. Sosen Sui Han meaning is uh, show example yourself. A lot of people just talk, 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 but he never do it. No, you have to do it. And this way I want you guys to do it. Called Sosen Sui Han. That's what I want to tell you today.